Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Pisha coming to you guys with another video. Um, I want to go ahead and say that if you are not an adult, I don't suggest you watching this uh, video. I am no gun expert. I am just on here, ex <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> explaining to you guys or letting you guys know my experience at the gun range. So let me go ahead and tell you guys. So I will be adding um, small clips of um, uh, what I'll be talking about. Um, so I decided to go ahead to the, um, go to the gun range. Um, I'm starting the process of getting a permit and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys, bring you guys along. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, things are different in different states. I am in the state of Florida. So I wanted to come out here and, and um, share my experience. Um, I'm not gonna lie, you know, when you think about the idea, oh, you want, I wanna go shoot some guns, I wanna go shoot some guns, it's fun, the idea sounds fun, but it's completely different, obviously, when you get there, okay? As you guys are gonna see, when I'm walking up to the place, you guys can definitely hear the gunshots outside in the parking lot. It was, I've never in my life heard gunshots. Gun in such a close range like that. So it is completely different when you hear it <laughs> close up. It's way louder. I can't even believe how loud a gunshot is. It's creepy. So as you guys can see, you guys are gonna see in the clip, I'm walking up to the store. When we get there, they you know ask for uh, one person's ID to go ahead and keep the tab open because you know as you go, you might, your tab might goes up. So they ask you for ID and they ask, uh, they ask us if we wanted um, practice ammo, um, which uh, my boyfriend did get a few of practice ammo. And then they ask you for eyewear. One thing you can do if you do wear glasses or you bring your own eyewear, you can go ahead and use that. But if you don't, they do have it to provide it. Um, they charge you for that. And then they charge you for, um, for your earplugs, the ear. You definitely need, you need that. And then um, the target, you pick whichever target you want. They got different styles. We went with the simple black um, silhouette with the numbers on it. So now we get there and there was a wait. I mean, that place was booming, I tell you. <laughs> like, we had to wait. So sitting there and anticipating to, you know, trying to get there, you're hearing these like gunshots and I'm like jerking the entire time. Like, you know, I have anxiety and I was like, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'll tell my boyfriend this, but I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. I was super scared. So now we get there and then they're like, okay, you guys are up. And then as you get it, it's like, a, I don't know if you guys ever been to a pawn shop, like where you have to go in, you open a door and then you have to let the door behind you shut before you can open the other door. That's how it was. But everything was like um, soundproof. Their doors were soundproof, but I'm not going to lie. Those gunshots were so loud. You could still hear it from the lobby. So we get in, we open the door, and for some reason the door wasn't opening because we didn't know that, so we let the door shut, and at that point, you're like, in there. So it's a small room. Um, I'm not good with my measurements, but it's pretty like from this wall to that wall, and it's, really, it's a really small room, and they have like slots. And you can see each person in like little slots shooting their guns. And every time someone would shoot a gun, I would like, I was jerking, I was like scared. <laughs> So we got the we got the we got the slot all the way to the far right so no one was beside me so which was good the only person that was on our side was a couple old ladies were there which I found was very cute a couple of ladies were there trying to practice or whatever cuz they do um you can go and take classes there as well So now we get there and I'm going to show you guys a clip he's uh, my boyfriend's like laying out the his guns or whatever and I mean he's very careful and he, you know, putting, you know, the ammo in the magazines and I'm watching him and then he put up my, um, my target and then he'll be like, okay, it's ready. <laughs> oh my God. I'm standing there like shaking, like my hands were shaking. I don't know from the clip if you can tell that my hands are shaking, but like every time I would pull the trigger, like my whole body would jerk. I mean, I'm telling you, this is, and at that point I was shoot the one on the clip, that was a nine millimeter and that's a small gun. And for some odd reason, 
every time I would pull the trigger, like my whole body was jerking back. Like the kickback on that thing is like, I don't know if it's because of my first time, but I'm not gonna lie. As I tried, as I practiced some more, um, he had a Glock, um, a Glock, and he had a 45. I don't know if it's the Glock is the 40. Yeah, there was a 40 and a 45. I felt more comfortable shooting the 40. I don't know if it because it was a it's a heavier gun and it or is a bigger gun and I have long fingers. I felt like when I was shooting that, it was powerful, but I feel like for some odd reason the kickback on it wasn't as bad as the um the 9. So I mean, I got some pretty the nine the nine that he has has like a laser on it. I mean, he said. I mean, I think I did pretty well for the first time. I mean, I'm definitely going to go some more. I'm definitely going to take classes, but I mean, that was an experience. Seeing when you know when he was shooting and seeing the shells just fly out and actually seeing fire like sparks of fire coming out of the gun, I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe people find this like a hobby to do. It was, it was scary. I'm not going to lie, but I did get, um, I was a little tense in the beginning. I, you know, I had to relax. He's like, just relax. You know, I was a little tense. I'm not going to lie in the beginning, but as I kept shooting and like I was telling you, I was shooting the 45, I got better at it. You know, I wasn't jerking as much and stuff like that. So it was, it was pretty interesting. I mean, it's not as scary as, I mean, I thought it was going to be, but I'm going to honestly tell you for the first time, it is very, uh, very um, intense, I'm going to have to say. It's very loud. Even though you got those ear things in your ear, it, you can still hear those gunshots and, the, and the, the vibration of these gunshots going off. It's like, oh my goodness. It, it was a lot, but um, I do recommend um, anyone that is interested in, you know, going out to shooting guns. To say, I think I would prefer to do it in a more of an outside, outside setting, like out in the woods. You got your little targets and you guys are shooting somewhere safe, you know, acres, acres wide. I would, I would think I would prefer it that way better than being in such a confined space. And, you know, you got these people next to you, like, you don't know these people came from. <laughs> you don't know these people. You don't know these people's mental state, you know. I, it's just, I'm just, I, I'm just claustrophobic. And that small space, I think I was more afraid of that small space and how close people were to me and shooting these guns. That's what kind of made me feel uncomfortable. But I definitely am going to do it again. And hopefully I can get more footage you know, it was my first time. I had a lot on my mind. I was scared. I was, you know, I was, it, it was a lot going on. So I couldn't get much. And I don't even think I'm, sh I don't even think I can record. I don't know. No one came to me and tell, you know, they didn't tell me anything, but I wasn't sure. I just wanted to, um, fill out the, the space, fill out the place first before I did that. But definitely I would, um, for my, the next time I go or for my classes and stuff that I'm going to take, I would definitely try to bring you guys along so you guys to so you guys can enjoy this experience with me. If you guys have any questions about this video, anything that I probably missed out, go ahead and leave it down below and I would be glad to answer those questions for you. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.